Today we're going to be going over the new meta for Talisman Reforges, Armor Reforges, Weapon, and Bow Reforges, all of that sort, since there's been new stuff added into the game that has changed the meta. So if you're ready for the video, please do consider liking it. Also, subscribe to my channel. We're kind of close to 50,000 subscribers, and that's that's really cool. So if you want to do that, help me out. Thanks a lot. Join my Discord, by the way. It's, it's cool. Uh, roll the intro. Here's what to expect in today's video. Oh, the stupid Jerry... Here's what to expect in today's video. The best armor, weapon, and talisman reforges for all five of the dungeon classes. And outside of dungeons, the best armor, weapon, and talisman reforges for sword damage, bow damage, and a general EHP tank setup. First, let's tackle the inside of dungeons, talisman reforges. Something you may not know is that there's actually two kinds of talismans, regular talismans and dungeon talismans. There are several dungeon talismans in the game, and this is the example of one of them, the treasure artifact. This actually gets multiplied by your dungeon stats. So as you can see, it's 20 strength outside of dungeons, but inside it's 59. So we have to take into special account of what reforges are best for these, as they might be different than the reforges for the regular talismans. Let's start off with Archer. So on your bow, obviously spiritual, it's super good. And on your bone meringue, spiritual as well. And for your flower of truth, if you choose to use one, I strongly recommend it. You're going to want to use Withered, of course, since it's going to give you a ton of strength. If you do own a Baby Yeti, which is super, super good, then you're going to want to have the most amount of strength possible, which is going to be Withered, since you'll get more defense and you'll last longer in boss fights. For armor, you're going to want to use Ancient on all of your pieces, since it gives the most amount of damage and strength, since obviously for every single time you level up in Catacombs, you'll get one additional crit damage on your Ancient armor. Since I am Catacombs level 30, you can see I get 30 crit damage on every single piece. I would also recommend recombobulating because it gives slightly higher stats on the other gear. And obviously make sure all of your stuff is 5 star. Now let's go on to talismans. For talismans, it's actually really easy. You're going to want to buy a dark orb off the auction house and apply shaded to all of your talismans. Except for the dungeon talismans like I discussed earlier, you're going to want forceful on these. Since obviously the strength will be multiplied by your catacombs level, it's going to give you a lot more strength, which will in turn with the baby yeti pet, give you a lot more defense and let you last longer. For Mage, it's a little bit different since you have options of playing left or right click Mage, but regardless, if you're playing either, you're going to want your armor to be set to Necrotic. This is because it'll give you the most mana, and your Spirit Scepter, if you do own one, is going to want to be on Heroic. This is for mana, of course. And if you're playing left click Mage, you'll have a sword like a Livid Dagger or a Giant Sword. Obviously, you're going to want to set this to Withered since it's going to do the most left click damage. If you are a right click mage, you're going to want to use Demonic on your Talismans. This is because Bizarre makes you lose crit damage, which is super, super important for lifesteal. So Demonic is second place. It's almost the exact same amount of mana, but you don't lose any of your left click damage. And if you're playing left click mage, you're going to want to set your Talismans to a standard DPS build. In this case, it's going to be all shaded on your Talismans. Super easy, just slap a Dark Orb on your Talisman bag and you'll be set. For tank, you have two different options. You can go for a lot of base health or a lot of base defense. If you're going for a lot of base health, you're going to want the Whale Pet, and for armor, you're going to want to use Giant. Don't use Werewolf Armor, this is just an example, as a Giant Reforged, as it gives a ton of raw health. If you're going for a defense build, you're going to want to use a Baby Yeti Pet. You're going to also, also want to pick up a Flower of Truth with the Withered Reforged for more defense, and use the either Perfect Reforged or the Heavy Reforged on your armor. For a health build on Talismans, use the Shiny Reforged, obviously it gives the most health. And for defense, you're going to want a Baby Yeti and to use Forceful, since this will actually help you deal more damage, which will lifesteal. And in turn, of course, you know, Baby Yeti and the whole increases defense for more strength thing, you know, that's also a thing. Berserker is by far the simplest class to talk about, as obviously you're going to want a Flower of Truth or a Stronger Weapon if you own one. But Flower of Truth with Withered, uh, your armor should be, of course, Ancient and Talismans. Well, just your standard DPS build, all shaded. That's, that's literally it. That's all you have to do. Berserker is the easiest build ever, but it's not really a good class. But for those of you that still wanted me to cover it, there you go. Healer is a very interesting class as it's extremely versatile and you can do a lot of different things with it. You can either go for a straight up tank build or you can go up for a Berserker style build with a baby yeti pet. I'll cover both of them just to be consistent. So let's start off with the tank style healer. Your weapons will remain the same. I would highly recommend Flower of Truth. It's just kind of the best weapon in the game for trying to survive. Put Withered on it, and for your armor, you can be anywhere from Zombie Soldier to Perfect to even Gold Ore armor, but you're going to want to use the either Perfect Reforge or a Heavy Reforge or a Reinforced Reforge as well. I forgot to mention that in the tank build, but Reinforce is just heavy without the speed nerf, and your Talisman should all be set to Forceful, and you should be using the Baby Yeti. For a Berserker style healer, you're going to still want to use the Mender Fedora, of course, but you're going to want to use either some kind of Shadow Assassin all the way up to even Necron armor. 
Reforged for Ancient and obviously your Flower of Truth is going to still be set to Withered, and your Talismans will be on DPS in this case, they'll still be on Forceful. Alternatively, you can also go for a full HP style build, where you go with full either some kind of Mastiff or tank armor with the giant Reforge on it like before, with all of your Talismans set to Shiny and a Whale Pet. That covers it for all of the Dungeons Reforges, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll answer them. Now let's go on to the outside of Dungeons Reforges. These get a little bit more complicated and they're not as simple as before. Small disclaimer, the outside of Dungeons Reforges are heavily based on your combat and foraging levels. So if you find that switching one or two talismans to a different reforge gives you slightly more damage, by all means do that. This is just a general guideline of what I found works best in most cases. Also, subscribe if you haven't, uh, if you liked the first half of the video. I, I don't ask enough and YouTube wants me to do that more, so do that. And let's get into these in, uh, outside of Dungeon Reforges. Let's start off with basic sword damage because that's what most of you are probably here to see. You're going to want to use Shaded using the Dark Orb on your Commons, Uncommons, Rares, and Epic Talismans. For your Legendaries and Mythics, you're going to want to actually use Forceful, as this is because Strength has a higher multiplier than Crit Damage, and you want more Strength than Crit Damage. It's just a general basis, you still want a lot of Crit Damage, however Strength is more important to start off with. For weapons, hands down, the Withered Reforged takes the cake. Upwards of 200 Strength is incredible. And for Armor, you have two options. The expensive option is going to obviously be Renown, since it gives 1% to all of your stats. But the cheaper option is also Ancient. Ancient is super, super good outside of dungeons, and I strongly recommend everyone uses it. Finally, all of your bows should be set to Spiritual, as this is just the best your forge for bows. For the end of the video, what is going to be the best tank style setup for outside of dungeons? And this one is actually really, really cool. What I would recommend is going with something like Ancient on all of your armor or Renown, and using Withered on your weapons, but most importantly, all of your talismans should be on Forceful. Also, this only applies if you have a Baby Yeti pet. Since Baby Yeti, of course, gives you a lot of defense based on how much strength you have, if I hold this, this is my EHP outside of dungeons at 64,000, which is really, really good. Of course, if you don't have Baby Yeti, just go with a standard either HP build if you have a Blue Whale, and if you have neither, just put Pleasant on all of your talismans and Perfect on your armor and call it a day. That's it for today's video. Shoutouts to all of these people bouncing around in the background and for you for watching. If you enjoyed, please do leave a like on the video and also subscribe to my channel for more Skyblock content and guides. I want to start streaming more, so turn channel notifications on as well. It really does mean a lot. I know you're probably not going to subscribe, but just how about just this once? If you made it to the end, I mean, it was an eight minute video. Just, just, just do it. All right. Have a great day and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.